media playback is not supported on this device. England batsman Doid Mallon said he was surprised teammate Johnny Bairstow did not employ a night watchman on day one of the fifth Ashes test in Sydney. Bairstow lasted just seven balls as Australia followed up their dismissal of Joe Root, 83, with a new ball to leave England 233-5 at the close. It takes a lot of guts to go against what people normally do, said Mallon, who ended the day unbeaten on 55. Perhaps he felt he was better suited to face the new ball, Middlesex left-hander Mallon added, some people like it and some people don't. I'll have a night watchman every time if there is an opportunity given to me, debutant Mason Crane was padded up to act as night watchman, but England's policy is to allow the next batsman to make the decision on who goes in at the fall of a wicket. The tourists had reached 220-3 when Australia took the second new ball with two overs of the day remaining. Root clipped Stark to square leg for 83 and after Bairstow opted to keep his spot at number 6, he edged Josh Hazelwood behind. I was surprised, said Mallon, who made an unbeaten 55. Each to their own, you can't look back. He didn't take one, he backed himself and he got out. Australia all-rounder Michel Marsh also said that he would have opted for a night watchman had he been in Bairstow's position. I was very surprised, he said. I've played three games this series and had Nathan Lyon padded up as night watchman about six times. We usually use one in the last 20 minutes. With a new ball, there's probably even more reason to send one out. I would have had the night watchman. Australia have already secured the Ashes and are looking to deny England a first test win in 10 attempts down under. The late wickets in Sydney mean the tourists can attack the out of four mowing alley and the tourists elongated tail with a new ball when play resumes at the earlier time of 2300 Greenwich Mean Time on Thursday. It was great to get the late rewards, added Marsh. The ball is only two overs old, so hopefully we can go through them tomorrow, Mallon, though, believes England can still reach a total that would put them in a strong position. The position we were in both those last two overs, we would have been aiming for between 400 and 450, he said, the wickets have put us back a bit but there's no reason why we can't get another 150 runs.